An era of large-scale design began on the BDZ in 1931 with the Class 46s. These were the largest non-articulated tank engines in the world. A class of 12 to 12 40s were built to the German design by Chigielski Works in Poland and intended for heaving mineral traffic on the mountain passes, particularly between the Pernek coal fields and the capital of Bulgaria, Sofia. They had two external cylinders driving the third axle, which like the fourth was flangeless, and this meant that the engines could go around the tighter curves of the mountains. This design feature would be seen on classes such as the Union Pacific 412 to 9000 class, the British Railways 2109Fs, and the one-off Soviet failure 4144AA20 class, nicknamed Andrei Andreev. But back to the class 46s. The leading bogey and the first coupled axle formed a Krausch Hemholtz track, and the sixth coupled axle was allowed a lateral or side-to-side -side movement of 25mm to help the long locomotives turn. The refinements were for safety around tight turns at the low operating speeds. Another reason for the long wheelbase was because of the small maximum axle load at the Bulgarian railway system of 17 tons. This wouldn't sound like a problem, but the class had an estimated weight of 149.1 tons, and that's where the unique wheel arrangement comes in. With this arrangement, the 149.1 ton weight went from a problem to an advantage because the weight over each axle is an estimated 17 tons. The array of domes on the long boiler top held a Wagner regulator, a Wagner top feed system, two sand domes and the main regulator valve. Woolshot's gear and piston valves operate the master cylinders. Their maximum torque capacity is 10.16 tons and the water capacity in the side tanks and tanks under the bunker was 4,000 gallons, which was greater than many of the tender locomotives at the time. In 1943, these mammoth tank engines were supplemented by the class 46.13s, eight three-cylinder 214-40s built by Schwarzkopf in Berlin. Their cylinders were 21.6 by 27.6 inches, and their calculated tractive effort was somewhat less at 65,966 pounds, compared to the two-cylinder variants of 70,200 pounds. Despite them being extremely powerful, the 4601s couldn't escape the fate of scrap. There is no record of when these engines started to be withdrawn and scrap that I could find, but only one of the 1931 variants still exist, and that is number 4603 that has been fully restored to working order since May of 2015.